So in our previous video, we were given the task to figure out the empirical formula of an unknown compound to save the drinking water of Keck. Now we didn't show how we actually did that in great detail. So we did share the gravimetric analysis that we did and by forming a solid compound, by mixing a solution together and forming precipitate. Also looking at the difference in masses that we might see when we heated this substance to see how much water possibly was in this solid. So what I'd like to do now is to share a little bit of the details of how we did this. So we're gonna go ahead and jump up to the lab and look at some of the reactions that we did and the steps and the analysis that we looked at. And then we're gonna go ahead and, and come back here and we're gonna look at kind of the calculations that corresponded to that data that we collected. Let's go check it out. So we found by first adding this solid into water that the conductivity increased, meaning that we had an ionic compound. The next was to figure out possibly what were some of the uh, possible ions that we might see that are part of this ionic compound. And so that's where we did a few different reactions where we're looking at the solubility of these different ionic compounds to see if there was a characteristic solubility for one specific ion that gave us the ability to identify what it was. From there we found out the identity of the negative ion, but we didn't know what the positive ion or the metal was because the metal was a little bit confusing because it had similar reactions for many different metals. So then we looked in turn to the analysis of our mass percent. So we found out the mass percent of the negative ion. We then found out the mass percent of water by dehydrating our substance. We heat it, the water leaves the substance, and so now we know two out of the three pieces. So again, we found out the negative ion was sulfate. We found the mass percent of sulfate in there. We found out that there's some water in there. We heated it. We found out how much water was in there. Then by default, we had the ability to identify the mass percent of our metal. From that step, we then just kind of follow the calculations, the math that goes along with the analysis of this, looking at mole ratios and looking at those relative to our mass percents that we figured out. And then from there, we figured out the identity of the metal and therefore the empirical formula. We found that this metal was not toxic. And so when we delivered it to Dean Eba, he gave us the approval to say everything was good and he trusted our analysis. And so we see that we can use this tool of empirical analysis to look at the identity of a substance in a helpful and useful way. In this case, looking at the possible contamination of water supply of Keck. And we found it was okay and so therefore we gave the approval from Nimiba that all was okay to drink our water in Keck. <laughs>